Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Barizno 0.8. Now, when we left off, we were a giant who was attempting to, well, smash and pound and, well, basically just destroy every puny human in existence. But that did not really work out too well, not in the first battle at least. After that, however, we did get a little bit of a better foothold on things. And, well, as you can see, I think we might be looking at a new weapon. This one, to be precise. It is a long spear, because we want to be able to penetrate as many enemies as we can. And that's the thing, it's a two-handed polearm, so no shield. You're not allowed to have a shield with it, which is perfectly fine. I actually kind of like thrusting with pole arms a little bit more than I like slashing with them. So this is going to be kind of amusing to see because it does have a little bit more piercing damage than slashing damage. And it also has a bonus against shields. Can't be used on a mount or anything, but we're not going to use one anyway. But, well, not at the moment anyway. Now, it is 7,000 aurums, which I'm not very happy about. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to go to the landlords. Can I, can I borrow some money? Oh, oh my. I can actually borrow up to 48,000. It's probably not a good idea for me to do that, is it? No. Okay, so I need 5,000 or so, so I'm going to get 6,000. Because we need a little bit to pay our troops and things. And, yeah. So, there we go. Thank you very much for this. That is... Oh, yes. Uh, uh, I'm going to imagine using that now. That's going to be very good, I think, hopefully. Now, the reason why I'm not getting anything else is because I can't. As you can see here, this is a chipped giant great sword, which is 28 strength. Doesn't have anything good about it, in my opinion. I mean, yes, it does have some pretty nice slashing damage, 55 in actual fact, but it doesn't have a bonus against shields, and in general, the reach of the spear is just a lot better, but... Who knows, maybe I am going to regret this, but, well, let's just see how it goes. Now, I am going to sell all these darts, just to make the price go down a little bit, because I don't really want to use darts or anything like that, so there we are. Okay, so now we owe about 6,000 to the town of Soot, so we're going to try and do our very best in gaining that money back, because we're going to need to. So, I might try to do a tournament... If I can... Oh, there's a ransom broker. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. I can hire some slaves from him if I so desire, but I don't think I will. 145? Really? Just... Is that it? Okay, well, never mind. So, there's a mystic merchant here. I mean, it's not really going to make much difference. Should I take a guildmaster quest? Because I have no quests right now, so it might be an idea to take one, because it might take us on a bit of a journey, and that would enable us to maybe find some bandits that we can fight. So, this is only going to give us... 231, but I'm going to do it anyway, just because you never know what you're going to encounter. And Volderberg is only over there, so we're probably not going to encounter very much. So let's just see how it goes. Uh, yes, of course. Now, I have joined as a... Haven't I joined? I've joined as a mercenary, haven't I? Have I joined as a mercenary? Oh, well, that's... That's that's kind of that's kind of weird. Okay, so yes. I, I Oh, no, I'm a vassal. Ah, uh, of course. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting absolutely mixed up here. So we are the Lord of Ozak. I'm actually kind of surprised they gave me a village because in general small factions like this one are usually going to have vassals that already have, you know, a thief to their name and me having that is kind of amazing and I'm actually kind of surprised, but Anyway, let's see if we can encounter a couple of bandits. Even even the vassals are... Oh, oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do not want to get involved with King Bullius. He has glorious knights of the great holy bull. And I can imagine they are insane. Yeah, they're probably some of the best units in the mod. So probably don't want to, you know, don't want to deal with them right now. Yes, that, that would not be very good. But obviously he is part of our own faction, so we don't have to, which is fantastic. So let's just move on here. Oh, snow crawlers, come back here. Oh, uh, yes, come back here, you filthy, filthy fiends and, and things. Uh, yeah, of course, we're going to lose them in the nighttime. But maybe I'll be able to track them down. Well, I was able to, amazingly enough, and so, yes, you are the dregs of the snow. Well, what does that make them, slush? 
or, or something. <laughs> well, anyway, 79 versus 19. This is going to be pretty easy, obviously, but I think it might be a nice idea just to check it out a little bit because we do have a new weapon. I think it might be kind of nice to try it out a little bit, but this is the thing. I'm un... Well, I'm unsure how I'm going to handle being such a big guy, because usually we're very small in comparison, you know, just being a puny human, after all, and having a very large frame is obviously going to be quite difficult to get used to, because the hitbox is a little bit different, and the way things work is obviously a little bit different, so, yeah, let's have a see here, and, well, just get ready. Uh, now, do bear in mind, I'm probably going to get killed by an archer. That's probably going to happen, so just be prepared. Be prepared for when that happens, which is no doubt going to be very, very soon. So let's see if I can get some nice thrusting going on here. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a nice thrust. But look at the reach on this thing. The reach on it is insane. Do bear in mind, however, that my weapon proficiency with pole arms is abysmal. So yes, we are not going to have a very good time with it in terms of speed or anything like that. And obviously damage a little bit. Ah yeah, come on now. You ri- Ah, oh, you are terrible. You are absolutely terrible. You- You terrible, terrible person. Okay, well, anyway, it seems like I might have to- Yes, I got beaten by a snowwalker, everyone. Didn't I? Okay, well, yes. As I said, the speed of our pole arm is going to affect whether we are going to be able to attain victory. But it's okay, because we do actually get to take three of them prisoner, and maybe, you know, maybe we'll discipline them a little bit for taking out Scout Skullcrusher Wilkins, which is his name now. Anyway, let's go and get those leather gloves. That's actually kind of nice. Give us a little bit of extra armor. Maybe I should have bought some armor instead of a weapon, but I, I don't know. I kind of felt like it would be a nice idea just to have a better weapon, but obviously it really makes a difference how much proficiency you have, and we have literally nothing. We have the least, apart from crossbows, in pole arms, and that's 31, so definitely going to need to do a little bit more in regards to leveling that up. So let's go to the tavern and deliver our wine or whatever it is. Oh, there's another ransom broker. Wow, that's... They have a dime a dozen, aren't they? Anyway, anyway, yes, nine units of wine, and we have leveled up to nine. That's fantastic. So, yes, nine units of wine, leveled up to nine. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's pretty good. So, I'd like to flip a coin with you. Uh, do you have any larger bounties for me? Uh, are there any bounties posted? Okay, so, yes, Lawless Villain. I will claim this bounty. This is actually kind of nice, because this will give me an opportunity to actually have some one-on-one -on -one combat. It's probably going to be... Something I'm going to regret, but we'll see. And uh, yes, obviously this means that we might be able to increase, well, our relation with the Tavern Keeper. I seem to remember increasing our relation with someone. I do know that this fellow has a quest for us. Yes, the Illicans, yes. I will, for the glory of Illica. Yes, raid the Reich caravan uh, traveling to Voldeberg. Yeah, obviously I can't do that right now. Because things... You know, me being injured and stuff, but yeah, me, uh, that's the thing. Do I want to do that right now? Because I am obviously not wanting to make this particular faction angry with me. So, yes, I would very much like to not do that. So, let's see what else I can do here. Okay, so, he is believed to be at Angern, which is actually quite close by. Yeah, it's just down there. So, let's head down there. I think we have enough of our forces here to be able to tackle anyone that attacks us, hopefully. And we're going to also level up a couple of our forces along the way. We still have some Hakon. That just really proves that the Hakon are actually extremely good units, because they seem to stay alive relatively well. So maybe we'll, I don't know, maybe we'll use Hakon and giant units. I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, a nice band of snow crawlers right there. Oh, and here we go. We have a little bit of the, well, shall we say land ownership yeah as you can see here we oh oh do we oh no is there an interest rate i'm oh there is an interest rate i think there is an interest rate that is not good not good at all okay so we're gonna have to go over here and oh apparently now the amazons have rallied under their queen and that is causing us a, a great amount of distress 
Well, I was managing to catch up to these guys. Now, this is going to be a lot more difficult than it was beforehand. And, oh yes, I should bear in mind that I do have those abilities that I can actually use. As you can see, you can use these things. And that's going to very much come in handy. So, yeah, definitely should have used my heal, shouldn't I? Yeah, so where is that? Treat your wounds to recover, and I need first aid and intelligence. Oh, yeah, that's bad for a giant, isn't it? Doesn't really have much intelligence, but maybe we'll try and get a little bit just to improve our first aid skill somewhat, because he's going to be absorbing a lot of damage. He's going to be taking a lot of damage, because, of course, he is a big target on the battlefield, and he doesn't want to be the only one dying every time. I'm sure that Scout Wilkins will not very much like that, but... Anyway, let's see what we can do with our newly acquired, leveled up units somewhat, I suppose. I'm, gonna, I'm actually just going to charge straight on in here, because I, I, what's hilarious about our name as well, by the way, is that I've just noticed that our banner is extremely, <laughs> extremely accurate in that regard now, because obviously it is to do with skull crushing, and we do have technically a <laughs> skull crushing banner, which is hilarious. Oh no, come on now. Oh no, no, it's too, it's too slow, there we go, there we go, now, there we are, that's what we like to see, but look at the, the reach on this thing, the re <laughs> I've also just noticed something amusing, I'm going to show you in a little bit, but yeah, anyway, the, <laughs> the reach on this thing is insane, I actually would prefer it to be kind of like a pole axe type thing rather than a spear, but I kind of felt like this is probably one of the best weapons we're going to be able to get at the moment. And maybe if we can make a little bit more money and, you know, gain levels with our army and things and, you know, hopefully go from there, then, you know, you never know where we may end up. So, yes, let's see. Everything else seems to be just sellable for the most part. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and I did actually forget to show you the funny thing, but okay, well, we're probably going to get in another battle suit. Oh, no, that was one of the other Oh, uh, no. Is there no way to avoid this battle? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to be having a problem here. 71 against 91. I actually forgot that we were at war against the other giants. And that's going to make things very bad for us. Very, very bad indeed. Because I'm actually running around with a pretty decent army right now. It's actually not great. But it's, it's capable of taking on you know, medium-sized bandit parties, which is exactly what you want to be able to fight. And, yeah, not really able to kill enemy vassals. So that was a huge error on my part, but obviously it is just, you know, it, it is just because it's kind of a new thing for us to be a vassal of the enemy faction for these, for these giants. I was about to say ogres, but no. Anyway... Let's see what we can do here. I, I don't think we're going to be able to do this, but if we look, if it looks like we're going to lose, I'm going to try and retreat and then just run away, but it is most likely that we are going to, to lose very, very badly. But you never know. Maybe, maybe not. Human arrow fodder. Apparently, they have some units called human arrow fodder. Well, that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay, so yes, this guy is going to absolutely destroy me in combat, as you can no doubt see. I am doing... I did 50 damage to him, though. But that was not enough. Oh, there we go. We killed him. Amazing. Okay, so I'm actually going to try and retreat now. I'm, I'm just going to run in here and kill myself. There we go. Thank you. 64 damage. Ouch. Now, that's painful. That is very, very painful indeed. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, we only have one left. These guys are extremely, extremely powerful. I am probably not going to be able to run away from them, but I'm going to try. Alright, so to summarize what happened in the past few minutes, I was eventually caught by the vassal, unfortunately. He was able to catch up very easily in actual fact, probably because we don't have any pathfinding, but otherwise, we have this now, which is actually kind of amazing. Our rents from Ozak. And they are considerable, as you can see. 2,600. And we actually don't have an army right now. We have a very small army, and I'm currently waiting for the villagers to refresh their recruits. But as you can see, this is amazing. I'm actually kind of surprised that it gives us this much. But I suppose it's because it hasn't been looted yet. 
And if it is looted at any point, then I suppose we're going to lose the benefit of that, which is going to be very sad indeed. But, well, let's just see what we can do here. I'm going to go and see if we can get a couple more recruits. Yes, we can. Fantastic. Okay, so, yeah, I haven't been able to get that many. As you can see, I only have 18 right now. But, yeah, it seems like this area right here, basically anywhere around here, is absolutely safe from being raided because, hilariously enough, they took me prisoner, by the way, the, you know, the guy that de defeated us, and he took us around and then eventually decided to head into this territory, and he was mobbed instantly by our Grand Chieftain and various other vassals, so it's good to know that it is extremely well defended, but otherwise, obviously, I kind of failed, kind of failed them a bit there, but, well, hopefully we'll live up to their standards soon enough, and we have, yeah, 2,900. Luckily, they didn't steal my spear or anything like that, so, yeah, we're still reasonably well equipped, I suppose you could say. Now, you can manage this village with a huge amount of different things. You can get some cow traps, which will mean that I would assume, yeah, you can't use horses from being used in the attack, but it also prevents them from being used in the defense. But obviously, we don't really have horses right now. Palisade, that is to protect and make the village harder to loot. And then obviously, the manor and everything is all very standard. So that's actually kind of nice. And maybe we should do a little bit for our village elder. Do you, do you not have anything that you need help with? No? Nothing at all? Well, that's that's a shame. I want to send troops to one of my fiefs and I want you to provide them with food. No. <laughs> Don't really need that right now, but yes, anyway, I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update on the wages that we're currently getting, which is really quite nice. I mean, I wouldn't have expected such a large payout. So, I thought while we're waiting here for the village and, well, technically the three villages that we have in the faction area to sort of refresh their volunteers, I've waited about maybe a week and a half now and gained another round of recruits. So that's actually kind of nice. And I'm, I'm, of course, waiting for the next round of wages as well. And I've paid back 2,000 of our debt already, so we only have 5,000 remaining. But obviously that's kind of a bit... Ugh, it's not it's not particularly good. Anyway, we currently don't have that much money to actually bet. So I'm going to bet 500 initially, and then we're just going to go in and see what we can do. Now, obviously, this is giants only, as far as I'm aware. So this is going to be being pretty difficult. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty difficult. Maybe. Maybe it's not. Let's actually just see. It seems to be actually kind of difficult, but... Let's see if we're able to attain victory. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Okay. So, oh, there's a floating hand. There was a floating hand there. Okay, well, yes. Let's just ignore the floating hand for now, shall we? Ah, yes. Okay, so, what, what are we... Sir Kelras? Why is Sir Kelras here? He's not a... He's not a giant. How dare you partake in our competition? <laughs> Seems like there's actually a couple of human participants here, so I suppose that's okay. Come on, kill him! Yes, no, don't let him kill Sir Kelras. Oh no, he did! Oh my. Okay, well this is not good, is it? Okay, so apparently they all have a human. Well, this is not good, is it? Come on, kill them! Yes, maybe I'm able to. Oh, oh, no, or maybe not. Maybe not. They actually dealt so much damage right there. So much damage. Okay, so this is a bit of a problem now. I probably will not be able to win because these guys are extremely powerful. Obviously, we are very low level still, so that's going to make a huge difference. But look at that. We're actually able to deal some pretty significant damage. So let's see if I can... Mm, yes, this is not going to go well, is it? Okay, come on now. Oh no, they're ganging up. Ah, oh, they're ganging up on us. The humans. Did you see them? The sneaky scoundrels. They just ganged up on us from behind. That was, oh, that was very dishonorable, wasn't it? Uh, well, we are technically quite sneaky because we are a looting, stealing giant. So, yeah, that is kind of amusing. So, anyway, it seems like I'm going to need to do quite a bit of off-screen here just to wait for some time and gain wages. I mean, that's basically all I need to do right now. And apart from that, just gain volunteers whenever I can. As you can see, we do have... You know, not bad. You know, we've got okay amounts of people so far, but I'd like to have about 50, maybe 60 before we actually venture out and 
hunt down this guy. So we're going to try and do that in the next episode. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.